Hey, so I just wanted to share a dream I had a couple years ago now. I've never told anybody except my husband as far as I can remember. And he's always encouraged me to share it. But I was really nervous too. <clears throat> because I don't want to be misunderstood about it. <clears throat> but I'm just going to share it. I thought a video was better than typing it out because you can see that I'm not, you can see my emotions about it and how I feel about it, you know, through a video. So, um, in the dream, I was walking with my oldest son, Uriah, down the street and I looked over at the store window and in it were two plaques with prayers written on them. I don't know if y'all have seen those before, but sometimes you can get plaques with like a prayer on it. And one was a prayer by a witch and it was thanking, it was thankful for the trees, the flowers, things in nature. It was just, it didn't address God or the universe like that. It was just like, thank you for the flowers. Thank you for the trees and all that stuff. The other prayer was it said Calvinist prayer on it. So one said witch's prayer on it, one said Calvinist prayer. The one that said Calvinist prayer said on it things like, Mama, Mama. Hi, buddy. said things like, um, God, uh, bring your wrath. Your church is so horrible. Um, we know that the bride is full of sin and um, it was just trashing the church and the bride of Christ, just saying how horrible it was. Well, in the window, the witch's prayer was on, they, they were sitting on stands, but the Calvinist one was laying on its side. And in the dream, I saw this. And in the dream, I said with a, with a kind of, I guess, a word of knowledge in the dream, wow, God preferred that witch's prayer more than that Calvinist prayer. Now, I'm not saying that God prefers you be a witch over a Calvinist. I'm saying he preferred the words of love being spoken out more than the words of hate being spoken out. <clears throat> okay, so then the dream continued and me and Uriah walked into this church. And we sat down and it's no church I know in real life. Um, but I knew the associate pastor was the one that got up on stage and started just trashing the pastor saying, well, the pastor's not here. Anybody want to speak? Cause he didn't show up and just started trashing him. And, and, um, he kind of paused and waited for somebody to say something and everybody was just kind of shifting uncomfortably in their seats. And my son who was eight at the time, he was like six or seven, um, stood up and began preaching about the love of God. And in the dream, I was like ready to cry because I was so proud of him. Okay. And that was the whole dream. So what God was saying through that dream was to be childlike, to be thankful, to watch what we say. I am noticing a trend of wanting to call everything heresy and blasphemy and I you know what, doing that can open you up to Satan being able to attack you. I'm just being honest because you're speaking what, whenever you're speaking hate or whenever you're speaking against your brothers and sisters, you're stepping out of the light and into the darkness. And whenever you're stepping into that territory, um, that's not good. Uh, so um, be very careful with your words, I think was just the whole premise of the dream and what I really feel like I'm, I'm comfortable releasing that, <laughs> um, right now is that, uh, you know, not everything is, you know, is there sin in the church? Yeah. Is that the appropriate way to handle it by trashing the church? No, the appropriate way I think we see in the old Testament through the prophets is to, even though if they weren't involved in the sin, they tore their clothes and cried out in repentance as if they had taken part. And so I think that's what um, we need to do as the bride is even if you aren't part of the problem to cry out for mercy um, 
to be repentant to um you know jesus said forgive them they don't they know not what they do if uh we could just be thankful for god and our brothers and sisters and um just uh love them because we don't want to be like that that calvinist prayer in my dream um and if you're watching this and you're a calvinist i'm sorry um <laughs> if i have offended you i can't control my dreams that's just what it looked like in the dream so I wanted to share that and hopefully y'all hear my heart on that and uh, hear the Lord's heart on that.